And joining us now are CBS 21 political insiders in for Charlie Giroux. We have Kevin Harley on the Republican side and Tony May, of course, on the Democratic side. So, gentlemen, let's talk about this budget plan that came out. Tony, major cuts to Medicaid, uh, food stamps, things that benefit a fifth of all Americans. How is that going to fly with the Democrats? Well, it, it, it's, the it's not going to fly well with the Democrats, of course. Worse yet, it's not going to fly with the people who voted for Donald Trump, who are the people who are looking for a, an even break. The people who were disadvantaged over the years and ignored, and those are people who are—they're not necessarily retired, but they are—they could be disabled. And those the disability cuts and Social Security are going to be a real disaster for some areas. Go ahead, Kevin, uh, Management Budget Director Mick Mulvaney, is saying that uh, the people who deserve help are going to get it through this budget. And a lot of people say that's a stretch, but he's also saying he's putting more control into the hands of the states to decide who gets Medicaid benefits for disability. Well, putting governors and state legislators in charge of that, I think, is a very good idea, something that has been discussed by Republicans for a very long time. But I think what you have to remember, Rob, is that this is a budget proposal. This is really more of a policy outline than actually legislation that's going to be introduced. This gets the discussion going. And let's not forget that he's also including a huge increase in our military spending, which I think most people would agree uh, is something that's sorely needed. So, Tony, are there, well, will there be common ground here? I don't really think so. I mean, the military spending increase, the president's going around the world now talking about world peace, talking about getting other countries to do their fair share of the heavy lifting, and then yet he wants more money in a, in a country that spends more for defense than any other country in the world. Mulvaney's saying this is a plan that puts, it's a taxpayer first budget. Interesting wording, Kevin. I think it's great wording, and I think it's important to realize that Donald Trump is thinking about the hardworking men in America that pay their hard-earned dollars to federal taxes, and that let's not put so much money to the federal government. Let's put some more control back to the states where most people think it belongs. I think it's a good starting point for the president to begin the negotiations with the uh, with the Congress. These aren't. The, these money, the money doesn't go to the federal government. It goes to people. There are programs for people that are being cut. And you don't believe that there's room there that maybe closer scrutiny as to how the, that money is spent? Oh, I think there's help. lots of places you can make paring away at, at the waste and, and fraud. This is like we're doing here in Pennsylvania with, with uh, Governor Wolf announcing today his plans to merge the departments of health, education, health, welfare, and, uh, and aging. So do either of you believe in the 3% growth rate? Well, I think if <laughs> Donald Trump gets his tax reform package through this fall, he's got a cutting spending and getting tax reform will get this economy going again. Do you think up to 3%, Tony? That's awfully bold. I mean, I think we've learned in Pennsylvania again that the, the, the pitfalls of overestimating growth and economic vitality in the economy. We're better off if we are more conservative in our estimates. I tell you what, with everything going on on Capitol Hill, it's an exciting time. Kevin Harley, <laughs> Tony May, thank you. Uh, you can see our political insiders every Tuesday right here on CBS 21 News and join us on Sundays at 8.30 a.m. for CBS 21's Face the State.